What's up guys, in this video we're talking about running injury free and we're going to show you the single leg injury test. Can you pass it? I would be remiss if I did not mention, especially when we're talking about running injury free and mobility, uh, Dr. Kelly Starrett of Mobility Wide. We've done some videos together and uh, one of the things that I actually really learned from him and working with him over the years is just the importance of being able to master certain positions in the body as a way to create some extra room for ourselves to run with better mechanics. And there's nothing better than actually sitting in the bottom of a squat to determine that. And you'll notice that when I'm down here, there's a few things that are really required. Number one, I need to have a lot of range in this hip. And, in, and right now we're testing full flexion and something called external rotation where the knees push out. I've got that amount there. And can I sit in this position? With my back pretty straight, that's the kind of number one. Second one is I start to see myself in this position here. Can I actually sit down here with my toes pretty straight as well? And what this is actually challenging are my ankles, right? How much dorsiflexion do I have in my, my ankle for my toe to flex back towards my knee? A lot of you, if you sit down here, you may find that you're gonna be up on your toes or your feet are gonna wanna spin out. And either way, that's just a sign that the ankles are stiff, and it could be the joint itself that's stiff, or some of the tissue in the Achilles, or the calf, and even the plantar fasciitis, or the plantar fascia, that is stiff as well. That's actually creating some, some problems there. So I can start to actually see, hey, how much range do I need? Well, if I have this much range, this is actually gonna be easier for my feet to land a lot more relaxed, a lot more naturally toes forward, as opposed to toes turned out. Now, Running is really this single leg sport, so the ultimate test and expression of our mobility is actually not just sitting down in a squat on one leg, it's actually going to, or sitting in a squat on two legs, it's actually going to be sitting down in a squat on one leg. So what I'm actually going to do is go ahead and kick one leg out and sit down here. And notice that all of a sudden, my ankle, the range of motion has been tested even more. My knee is that much more compressed and my hips are that much more compressed and I have to live here comfortably. Now this is very hard. So there's a few different ways to adjust this. One, I could just take a hand and I could go behind. And that's just gonna give me a little prop or a little assistance. The other thing you could imagine, I could do this next to a railing or a table and I could actually hold on to something in front of me to prevent me from going backwards. Because if I have trouble sitting in the bottom of a squat, I'm gonna have a hard time sitting on one leg. Now, I've spent, let's say, one minute on the left leg. I wanna shift over to the right and I wanna do the same thing over here. Can I live like this? And I just want you to notice that my foot's out at an angle a little bit this way. And what this allows me to do is push my hips and my shoulders this way to keep this knee going out over this toe to prevent this collapse going from here. So the single leg injury test, can I sit in the bottom of that single leg squat all the way? Can I do it pain free for at least a minute per side? Can I build up to two or three minutes? If I can't, it tells me exactly what I need to work on. Maybe my ankles are stiff, maybe something else that I need to go. And all of a sudden I've got some marching orders. I can stay injury free. Mechanics are better. All right, guys, that is it. If you like this video, go ahead and let us know. Hit that like button. Uh, if you have any comments or questions on this single leg injury test, how to do it better, how to hold it for longer periods of time, how to modify it, hit us up in the comment section. We'll help you out. Finally, if you want more injury prevention videos, you want run tips, run workouts, strength workouts, definitely subscribe to The Run Experience. It's where it's at, our YouTube channel. Right now, we're putting out a lot of stuff each and every week just for you guys. And uh, finally, if you really want some more help on getting ahead of these injuries, uh, you gotta grab our free injury prevention training that we have a little link to right in this video. Uh, if you happen to on your mobile device, don't worry, there's a link down in the description. Either way, click on those links. It's gonna take you to a page where all you need to do is enter in your name, your email address, we'll be able to personally send you 
that free injury prevention training that's really going to show you how to spot injuries before they occur and give you some simple strategies you can do at home to get rid of some of those kinks that accrue in the body when we start running so hard. Once again, guys, thanks again so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.